People marry with different thoughts. Oh, I wish I had married that guy. I wish he's not this one. I wish I had not said no to that guy in a hurry. I wish I had been patient. I wish, you know, sometimes God can tell a man that you are in your season to get married. And because of the way he's coming, it may look like he's not patient. And sometimes I feel we're just in a hurry. Like, uh, we have this default way you expect a guy to come. Like, how can he chat me up? Instagram DM. Like, what is that? Instagram. Okay. Is it demons on Instagram? Uh, how can he chat me up from Facebook? Like, Facebook. Do you know how harassed Facebook is? But you are there. You are there. See, he's on Twitter. It's Twitter. Hey, he just came to my DM. Your spouse can meet you anywhere. I met my wife on Telegram. Telegram. I'm telling you. Telegram. We'll be praying. You comment. Amen. I say, who is this Chinese? <laughs> you just look at her. I say, how oh, is this Chinese? Chinese. And you know, one of the things that stood out when I met my wife was that the day she came to our church, she just came. Where I coming? She was the first lady ever that will sit in front of me and look into my eyes. People just go, ah, ah, so good to see you, sir. So, ah, ah, you have been, I've been watching from afar. My wife just sat down and looked at me. And if you meet my wife, you know she's one confident person. Sometimes I'm like, calm down. Looked at me and looked around. I said, wow, this feels like home. I said, okay. So how are you doing? What do you do? What are you doing? I'm what you like here. Eh? She was going back. She had to travel back. I was extra caring. Okay, so how are you going now? Should I call somebody? Ah, I felt like she should not go again. Just be here with us. But we met Telegram prayer. Your spouse can come from anywhere that people are. Like, how can you just chat me up on WhatsApp? Chop blocking. Pam. And some people have blocked the person God is talking to them about. They have. You don't believe. Some people say, I'd rather die than to marry my ex. <laughs> and you believe that things can be recycled. Listen, when you are patient around the subject of love and marriage, you see things for what they are. Hey, you know what's happening now? All the good boys have been taken. Says who? They are marrying all the fine girls. Everybody just pick their own. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you want some leftovers? Or what God has for you? And you know, if you are not smart now, you just leave. No. You, you can't outsmart God. It is so serious that Eve could not be brought to Adam till he was asleep. Tell your neighbor, go to sleep. Today, Valentine, somebody is scrolling through WhatsApp status. Ah, let me see. Did I get Did she post anybody? She didn't post. <laughs> and there are some people now, they go and call them. Say, hey, like they, they post you. They post you. <laughs> and meanwhile somebody is somewhere put up a picture only show two lie there and friends then post another one only show two Angela and friends and you are using one stone to kill multiple beds I say they post me But do you know, you know what I found out? That it's not everyone that is interested in the subject of good marriage. Some just want to marry. That's all. Like, what's there? 
I've seen ladies who say, I can't marry a man who will not beat me. Like, what's the fun? Like, you mean, swollen jaw is fun. Blue eyes, fun. Interesting. You know why? You can be addicted to abuse. You can be addicted to abuse. Let me share a few more things. Listen to this. One of the things proximity does is that it reveals flaws. Distance seems to make everything perfect. What that means is, it is not greener on the other side. Sometimes where you are is greener. And you feel, I just like the way those guys post pictures until you marry the person. I've told people, marriage is like a father rice. You will still chop stone no matter who you marry. You still chop stone. Steve Chopstone. Steve Chopstone. You see things, you'll be like, what? You say, ah, so, somebody was asking me, what does it feel like to be married to a post-fem last I was like, <laughs> 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 like in real life, should she tell you? Like just feel like, just wake up every time. Oh, man, Shande cry. <laughs> You're blessed. My wife will look at me and say, you are just so annoying. I say, I know. I know. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there are times I feel like it's been long without problem. <laughs> me, as, a, as an apostle, just, it's been long. It's been quiet in there. Just think, think, think. What can I do now, now, now? And I'll just do something. And my wife will talk. And I'll say, you are a married counselor. Are you not? Is that what you are telling people to do? <laughs> Beloved, it is not greener on the other side. Even me, I know. I'm not fine like that, like that. Once in a while. <laughs> First thing that happened when we got married, I saw my wife crying. Just weeping. A few weeks. I, so I, 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 I know the day will come, you'll cry, but not this early. Like, not this early. Like, I kept saying, I mean, new wife. New wife. Crying. Say, what happened? <laughs> Was sobbing. Said, eh? you know, before before I got married, I already said I'm going to experiment different kind of food. I'll experiment. <laughs> so I say, okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. Say, but you look at you. Eh? I brought all this, bought all this. Say, but you who cook, you won't eat. Okay, because I did not eat. That's why I cry. <sighs> okay. You know, that was when I knew that I'd been abused all my life. It occurred to me somebody could cry because I did not eat. Really? Is this what marriage is about? Wow! All the boys in the house. Oh, Apostle, it's like you can't finish that food. Okay, I'll, I'll help you, I'll help you. But this one will cry because I did not eat. Wow. So I told her, if you put 10 things on the table, you have lost me. Salad, plantain, snail, rice. I've faced problem in this one life. And I've not fully recovered. Even till now. Rice, stew, meat. That's all. And because I've suffered so much, Sometimes it will take time. And I say, oh, I did eat meat. Ah. <laughs> That's who she married. I have another very funny nature. I eat everything fresh. No microwave. <laughs> 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 
That's why we are saying, ask questions. Ask questions. But let me just close by, because of time, by saying this. That it is poverty that makes that a problem. There are many traditional things we have defined as yardstick for a good wife. That the definition came from a very poor background. Like a good woman should be able to buy something for soup. With 500 naira. Make soup for three days. If they test your daughter or your sister with that, will you be happy? Listen to what I'm saying. Times are changing. The definition of marriage in its entirety has not changed. But the approach to many things will change. When both of you are high-impact individuals, many things that are the yardstick for defining, are you following what I'm saying? Can be outsourced. Like how do you marry a woman who is controlling about six different banks and your yardstick for defining her virtue is how well she washes clothes? That is why we say, don't just check the dress sense. Check. Thank you for visiting Faith2Tech Media. Kindly subscribe and follow us to bless more lives.